Have you ever wanted your own private version of ChatGPT? What about one that runs on your own hardware where your data stays completely private and there are no subscription fees? What if you could then securely access that private AI from your laptop, your phone, anywhere in the world? In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. We'll be using three amazing free tools. Olama to run powerful large language models locally. Open Web UI to give us a beautiful familiar chat interface and Twingate to create a secure and private tunnel so you can access your AI assistant from anywhere. It's probably easier than you expect. So let's get started. Okay, first open your browser and go to olama.com. We'll click the download button. It's available for Mac OS, Linux, and Windows. Just download and run the installer that like you would with any other application. Okay, I got it installed. So once it's installed, we can open up uh, the terminal or command prompt and to make sure it's working, uh, type olama dash dash version. You should see the version number pop up. Perfect. Olama is now running as a background service on my computer. Okay, now for the fun part. Let's download and run our first model. We'll use Meta's Llama 3 model, which is powerful and efficient. So, in my terminal, I'll run this command, olama run llama3 colon 8b. So this command tells olama to download the llama3 model with 8 billion parameters. It might take a few minutes depending on your internet connection. Once it's done, you'll see a prompt right here in your terminal. You can start chatting with your AI immediately. Okay, how can I reverse a string in Python? And you can see the response. It's telling me how to reverse a string. This is cool, but a command line isn't the best chat experience. We want a real web interface, just like ChatGPT. So let's close out of this command line experience. To get that slick web interface, we're going to use Open Web UI with Docker. If you don't have Docker installed, just head over to docker.com and install Docker Desktop. It's free and it's a pretty essential tool for developers. Okay, we have to make sure Docker Desktop is running. And once Docker is running, I'll open, go back to my terminal and run this single command to start open web UI. So I do Docker run, the dash D runs the container in the background and the dash P uh, it maps port 3000 on our computer to port 80, 8080 inside the container we'll use port 3000 to access it. And then we have add host. This is an important bit of networking that allows the web UI container to talk to the Olama service running on our machine. Then dash V creates a persistent volume so our chat history and settings are saved. So when we run this command, it will start downloading open web UI since we don't already have it on our computer. Okay, and now it's running. So I'll open my web browser and go to http colon slash slash localhost colon 3000. And now this is the open web UI signup screen. We're already using it. So you'll be prompted to create a local account. And again, this is just local on our local computer. It's not anywhere out in the cloud. It's not with any other company, just on our local computer. So we just sign up and we're in. Okay, see, it looks just like a ChatGPT interface. So we just need to go to the top here and select a model. We'll select the Llama 3 model that we already installed, and that's it. We now have a fully functional private AI chat assistant running 100% on our local network. So the data isn't going to a third-party company, it's all right here. Okay, let's test it out. Can you write a poem about a Python loop? Encode a rhythm beats, a repetition of sweet retreats, the loop a serpent wraps around, executing li lines without a sound. Hmm, not bad. And we can say, can you give me the last line? And we can see it has a persistence across the chat, so you can chat back and forth and it remembers what you've already chatted. Basically just like any uh, chat bot you've seen on the internet anywhere but this is all running locally. So this is amazing, but what if I wanna use this from my laptop while I'm in a coffee shop or from my phone or from some other computer? That's where part two comes in. 
We're gonna use a tool called Twingate to make our local AI assistant accessible from the internet. Twingate creates a secure wormhole directly to your application without exposing your entire home network to the internet. It's free for personal use and much more secure than a traditional VPN. And thanks to Twingate for sponsoring this video. So first we'll go to twingate.com and you can either sign up for a new account, a new free account, or you can sign in to an account you already have. So I already have an account. Okay, if you're creating an account for the first time, Twingate will ask you to name your network and you can call it anything. I already have, I already named mine called Bo. Either during the signup process or once you're already signed in, you will be asked, you will need to create a remote network. So for me, since I already have an account, I can go to remote networks and then just click remote networks, add a new network. So I'm gonna choose an on-premise network and I can just put in any name of my network that I want here. Okay, I got my network created. Now I have to add a connector. Twingate uses these connectors to establish the secure connection. So I'll click deploy connector and then I have to select the deployment method. Well, we're gonna we're using Docker, so I just click Docker here, and then it's going to uh, we're gonna need to generate our tokens. Gotta authenticate again real quick, and now we have our tokens authenticated. But we don't actually have to copy them quite yet, because down here we have step four: run Docker command. So this will give us the command to run in our terminal that has all our credentials, our tokens, right within the command. So I can just click copy command, go back over to my terminal, and now I can just paste that entire command in here, and it's downloading everything we need for the connector, and it's finished. So if I go back over to Twingate, we'll see that we have our status as connected. I didn't refresh or anything, it just automatically refreshed once our connector was working. So now that the connector is running, we need to add the AI Assistant as a resource. We need to tell Twingate what it should provide access to. So in Twingate, we'll go back here, we need to get over to the Network tab, and then I can just click Create Resource. So for Label, we'll just call it Private AI Assistant, and then I'm gonna to need to put in the, our IP address. So back in my terminal, I can type in ipconfig, which will be the same on Mac, Linux, and Windows. And then we can find the IP address. This is just the IP address on my local network. Okay, so we'll fill in the IP address in Twingate, and we have to make sure we put the port, which is 3000, and then just create resource. And I will, grant access to everyone. And now we're done with the setup. This is the moment of truth. I'm now gonna switch to my cell phone, which is on a completely different network. I'm not on Wi-Fi, I'm on my 5G network, so I'm not on the same network as the computer. And so first I need to install the Twingate client. There's a Twingate client for basically any OS, Mac, Windows, Android, iOS, uh, Linux, anything. So once you get this installed, I'll log in with the same account. Now we can just go to the Twingate dashboard on the app and we can see private AI assistant right here. So now we can just click copy original address. And this is the local address on my Mac OS computer that's running our Docker application. But through the magic of a Twingate, I'm gonna be able to access that local IP address from my cell phone. So I just go over to the web browser and I can paste in the address. Okay, now I just need to edit this address to add the port number. So I'll just add 3000 for the port and there it is. The exact same open web UI login screen. I can log in and start chatting with my home-based AI assistant even though I'm miles away. The connection is fast, private, and totally secure. This AI assistant is running from my local computer at home, and it doesn't send data any, to any company, to anywhere else in the world, and now I can 
privately access it securely from anywhere. So in just a few minutes, we set up a powerful private AI assistant and then made it securely available from anywhere in the world using TwinGate. Thanks for watching.